Unit 2 The Atmosphere and Protecting Planet Earth Lesson 2 Erosion of Ozone Layer and the Global Warming First we will talk about erosion of ozone layer. What is the position of ozone layer? Ozone layer it is located at a height from 20 to 40 km above sea level in the lower part of a stratosphere layer and this is an important give reason question why the ozone layer is found at this height this is because it is the first layer of the atmospheric envelope which faces ultraviolet radiations emitted from the sun and also it contains a suitable amount of oxygen gas needed to form ozone gas. What is the structure of ozone layer? Ozone gas consists of three oxygen atoms, as you can see from this video. By the help of ultraviolet radiations, the bond between each two oxygen atoms is broken and the two free oxygen atoms are formed. Each oxygen atom will combine with oxygen molecule forming one molecule of ozone. So ultraviolet helps in the formation of ozone molecule. What is the thickness of ozone layer? Its thickness in a stratosphere layer is 20 km because it extends from 20 to 40 km. But its thickness is only 3 mm if it is where under STP. STP means standard temperature and normal atmospheric pressure. We know that the pressure on Earth is about 1000 times stronger the pressure at stratosphere. So if ozone layer is put under the normal atmospheric pressure, its thickness will decrease from 20 km into only 3 mm under standard temperature and normal atmospheric pressure. Dobson It is the measuring unit of the degree of ozone layer. So the degree of ozone layer is measured by a new unit which is called Dobson where the natural degree of ozone is 300 Dobson. As you can see, each 100 Dobson unit is equivalent to 1 mm thickness under STB because we said that the thickness of ozone under STB is 3 mm and the normal thickness by using Dobson unit is 300 Dobson unit so each 100 Dobson unit is equivalent to 1 mm thickness. Each 1 mm is represented by one coin. So if we have three coins, this represents the thickness of ozone layer under STB. What are the types of ultraviolet rays? We have three types of ultraviolet rays. The first one is called near ultraviolet rays or UVA. Its wavelength ranges from 315 to 400 nanometer and hence 100% penetrate ozone layer. This means that all UVA penetrate ozone layer. The second type is called medium ultraviolet rays or UVB and its wavelength ranges from 280 to 315 nanometer and 95 percent from UVB don't penetrate ozone layer this means that only 5 percent of UVB enters to us through ozone layer the final type of ultraviolet rays is for ultraviolet rays or UVC and its 
wavelength ranges from 100 to 280 nanometer and hence 100% of UVC don't penetrate ozone layer this means that all UVC rays are absorbed by ozone layer what is the importance of ozone layer ozone layer acts as a protective shield for living organisms against the harmful chemical effects of UV radiations especially UVB and UVC when UVB and UVC penetrate ozone layer they cause harmful effects for living organisms they cause harms to human amphibians marine organisms and terrestrial plants harms of UVB which is medium ultraviolet and UVC which is far ultraviolet first to human the first harm to human is increasing the rate of skin cancer cataract which is a disease infects the eye finally weakness of immunity system so the human's body becomes weak harms of UVB and UVC to amphibians they cause spoil eggs and finally decreasing the rate of reproduction harms of UVB and UVC to marine organisms UVB and UVC causes death of plankton which is the main nutrient the main food the main source of food of a small marine creatures this will cause the destruction of the marine food chains harms of UVB and UVC to terrestrial plants they cause the upset of photosynthesis process and finally shortage of crops production erosion of ozone layer what's meant by erosion of ozone layer as you can see since 1978 the thickness of ozone layer decreases so what's meant by erosion of ozone layer it means thinning or losing parts of ozone layer ozone hole it is an erosion of ozone layer above the south pole since 1978 as you can see the size of ozone hole increases year after another give reason for erosion of ozone layer increases in September each year this is because all pollutants assemble as black clouds and they are pushed by wind towards south pole making ozone depletion increase from year to year what are the pollutants of ozone layer the first and the most important one is chlorofluorocarbon compounds or which is known commercially as ferion or CFCs the second one is methyl bromide gas the third one is halons and finally nitrogen oxides chlorofluorocarbon compounds ferion or CFC they are used as cooling substance in air conditioning sets as propellant substance in aerosols flatting substance in making foam backing and finally they are used as solvent substance for cleaning electric circuits slides the second pollutant is methyl bromide gas methyl bromide gas it is used as an insecticide to preserve stored agriculture crops the third one is halons halons they are used in fire extinguishers to put out fires the final pollutant for ozone is nitrogen oxides 
Nitrogen oxides are produced from the burning of fuel of ultrasonic aeroplanes, which are called Concorde aeroplanes. Nitrogen oxides are produced from burning of fuel of ultrasonic aeroplanes, which are known as Concorde. What is the effect of CFC's compounds on ozone layer? CFC compounds erode ozone layer in three steps. The chemical formula for CFC compounds is CFCl3. By the help of ultraviolet, this chlorofluorocarbon is broken into CFCl2 plus free chlorine atom. This free chlorine atom will react with ozone molecule forming one molecule of oxygen and one molecule of chlorine monoxide. This chlorine monoxide will react with another molecule of ozone and the two oxygen molecules will be formed plus one chlorine atom. This chlorine atom will destroy more amounts of ozone gas as you can see from this video. Chlorine monoxide will react with oxygen then we have another free chlorine atom which will destroy more ozone molecules and so on. This process is repeated again and again and again leading to the erosion of ozone layer. How can we protect ozone layer from erosion? This forces international community to gather at Montreal and write down Montreal Protocol in 1987 and Montreal Protocol in 1990. Montreal Protocol which is held in Canada in 1987 which is signed by 191 nations. They reached a group of recommendations. Some of them Using of CFC compounds must be reduced and find safer alternatives. Stop producing the ultrasonic Concorde planes as their exhaust affect the ozone layer. In Montreal Protocol, which is held in London in 1990, they modify the protocol in a way that all nations must ban the production of handling CFC compounds. What's meant by non-CFC? Non-CFC means that these products don't contain chlorofluorocarbon compounds. The second part of this lesson is global warming phenomenon. What's meant by global warming phenomenon? It is the continuous increase in the average temperature of the Earth's near surface air. The temperature of the planet Earth increases year after another. Note the following. If we added vinegar to sodium bicarbonate powder, it will give carbon dioxide gas. And the increase of the concentration of carbon dioxide gas leads to the increasing of temperature. And we will see that increasing the ratio of carbon dioxide is one of the most important reasons for the increase of the temperature of planet Earth. Give reason 4. The temperature of planet Earth has been increasing since 1935. This is due to increasing of the greenhouse gases, especially carbon dioxide. Note the following. The ultraviolet radiations has a chemical effect. This is because it plays an important role in forming ozone molecule and in destroying ozone molecule by the help of chlorofluorocarbon compounds. While infrared 
radiations has a thermal effect because infrared radiations are the reason for global warming. Give reason for increasing the ratio of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide gas ratio increases because of the following. Fossil fuel burning, cutting trees, forest fires. Greenhouse effect. What's meant by greenhouse effect? As you can see from this video, greenhouse effect it is the trapping of infrared radiation in the troposphere layer due to the increase of the ratio of greenhouse gases which cause the increase of the planet Earth temperature. This is what's meant by greenhouse effect. Give reason for the infrared radiations cannot penetrate the atmosphere. This is because it has a long wavelength and the atmosphere plays the role of glass in the greenhouse as it permits only the visible light and short wave rays produced from the sun to pass. The earth and its components absorb these rays and re-emit the radiation back in the form of infrared. Infrared is kept trapped in the troposphere causing global warming phenomenon. The most important greenhouse gases carbon dioxide gas its ratio increased in the atmosphere to 0.038% in 2005 after it was 0.031%. The second one is chlorofluorocarbon or CFC compounds. The third one is CH4 or methane gas. The fourth one is N2O or nitrous oxide. The last one is H2O or water vapor. As you can see from this video, this is water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane or CH4 and N2O. What are the negative effects of global warming phenomenon? Number one, melting of ice and snow of both south and north pole. This threats coastal areas as they could drone, as you can see, melting of ice will increase the level of water in seas and oceans. This will cause the drone of coastal areas. Also, it will cause extension of some polar animals like polar bear and seals. The second negative effect for global warming is severe climatic changes such as the repeated occurrence of tropical hurricanes such as Hurricane Katrina in 2005, destructive floods, draft waves and finally forest fires. How can we overcome global warming? These bad destructive effects made 160 nations in Kyoto, Japan in 1997 to sign a protocol called Kyoto Protocol that suggests reducing the ratio of bad emissions by cutting down consumption of fossil fuel. Number two, searching for environmental friendly alternative energy resources. This is the end of lesson two. Thanks for watching.